was a uh, workshop that took place last July, part of an ongoing project uh, called Seeing with New Eyes, Modern Traditions. We're hoping to, that parts of this exhibit will be seen around town in the, during the holidays at Epley Airfield, and also Omaha Public Libraries is going to take some of it. And we have also hopes that it will be seen uh, in other places uh, in the winter and spring. We want to have a, a discussion tonight because our goals are what's next for this project and where do we take this uh, idea of seeing with new eyes in the future. It's now my great pleasure to introduce to you the real driving force behind this project and Mr. Thurman Statham. Please welcome. This me. whole program sort of evolved. You know, when I first came to Omaha, I thought, is, is that a Native American word or not? I actually think that Native American um, culture is sort of the soul of American culture in many ways. I think that it helped me understand where I'm at. And, I, and so we decided to target this. And we had access to the school, through, to the school kids, I think 1,100 of them to Tammy. So we just started doing pilot projects. And this sort of evolved and evolved until we decided to do a summer school. I think this project really is about um, all cultures. It's not, even though we're working with the Native American community, I, you know, I've worked a lot in Africa. I've done workshops with kids that, that don't even speak English. What, what, do you think are, what do you think are the best things that this, this kind of a workshop can do for people? Well, I, I can say that initially I was appalled by the graphic information that the kids were being given. I mean, every, everyone thought they lived in teepees and shot buffaloes with arrows, and that, that's just not true. I think from that, this, this upcoming year, we, we developed a more sp tribal specific cultural dialogue. Uh, we'd like to introduce the project director of the OPS, Native American Indian Education, Tammy Maldonado Mancibo. The greatest thing for me is that I had the blessing and I guess privilege and challenge all at the same time of growing up on the reservation. And when I returned home after graduating from school, uh, I was a principal there. And the challenges that we face there are very similar to the challenges that we face here, although the children all knew who they were and where they belonged to, and they knew their creation story, and they knew who they were as people and as a community. And here, our poor, uh, poor students, not because of, of wealth or anything else, but they don't have the privilege of having had that greater connection. The hot shops, you know, this whole project with the kids, one of the things that we have that other places don't have and, and OPS does not have is that's a box that runs at 2,100 degrees and when you open it up, we have the attention of those young people. We gave them the opportunity, we gave them permission to be creative and there were no lines that they had to stay in. It was really about their ideas and uh, it was a very, very powerful 13 days. Well, uh, first of all, I want to wish everyone a, a good evening here. And uh, to, to me, it's a real important uh, turning point in the city of Omaha here, where uh, for the first time in many, many years, I think that uh, our community here is valuing its, its native roots. Uh, to me, the arts is everything. It's the, it's the seed of innovation and creativity and expression. And through this, if we can teach our young people to be proud of uh, where they come from and to embrace the roots. Uh, only good things can happen. We are an oral tradition people, but so much of that has been lost and, and hasn't been passed on that we, we need to begin to be able to, to record those and be able to tell those to the rest of our family. The, the new generation, the kids that we got to work with this summer, they have a twofold responsibility to discover and tell the stories of the past, but we have to also remind them in a very important part, they have to go forward with the attitude that not only are they storytellers, they are story makers. I'm uh, Maurice Godfrey, I'm at the University of Nebraska Medical Center. 
So I would say it doesn't matter whether you're using your arts or our arts or language arts or journalism, but we should all strive to do something to get these kids engaged because the world will open up for them. Thank you all so much for coming. We, we heard wonderful things from you, the importance of telling our stories, the importance of identity, knowing where you came from, the relationships. This is what we hope to continue tonight and on and on and on. So thank you very much. Thank you to Thurman Statham and to Tammy Maldonado-Mancibo and to Tim Barry. <laughs> <laughs>